What's up guys, Dirk Lou here aka Blackheart909 and today we're going to be looking at a performance overview of Doom the Dark Ages with and without path tracing. We're playing on an RTX 5080 and we're also going to be discussing my results with a 4070Ti uh, running path tracing. So let's start off without path tracing on DLSS quality, we're playing on a 5080 right now and everything else is maxed out all the way. My personal opinion for this game was that it should not have been a ray tracing only game as there aren't too many dynamic lights in this game, there isn't any dynamic time of day uh, which means pre-baked lighting like Doom 2016 or Doom Eternal would have been pretty much optimal. Um, so right now we're running at around 85 FPS at ray tracing on regular ray tracing, not really path tracing. And uh, this is DLSS quality at 3440 by 1440p, so that's ultra wide. It's somewhere between 1440p and 4K in terms of performance cost. It would be 20% more heavy, 20 to 15 to 20% heavier than 1440p. And as you can see, we're running at about 80, 88 FPS. Uh, if you play in the intro, you'll notice that the frame rate is a lot lower because the intro is a lot busier in terms of uh, what's happening on screen. This is a later segment of the game. So it's kind of giving us a better situation than we'd see. This isn't the worst case scenario. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, turn on our path tracing. So DLS quality, we're turning on path tracing. Let's see what happens. And you'll notice our FPS has dropped to 50 FPS and even under that. So we're going around 47 to 45, sometimes even 50 FPS. Um, this is not ideal and on the 4070 Ti in the same level I had around 32 to 38 FPS in this area using path tracing and no frame generation. I personally would play this game with frame generation but you have to bear in mind that if you're playing around 40 FPS base FPS that's going to be around 20 to 18 to 20 uh, milliseconds of latency. The second you turn on frame generation, you are increasing that latency anywhere from 6 to 12 milliseconds. And it's going to feel around the 30 FPS range in terms of latency. Uh, but of course, you're going to have higher motion clarity. So that definitely is a trade-off and it's not ideal for high reflex or fast reflex shooters like Doom Eternal. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and um, change DLSS to balanced. Let's see if that gets us about 60 FPS. Uh, not quite, so we're at around 50 to 49, 52. It's increased the FPS by a little bit. This is DLSS 4 and balanced in 1440p looks uh, pretty decent, I would say. You do notice some additional smearing, especially if you're trying to kill a target with um, a glory kill or one of those pink kills, which what they replace it with. You'll notice that the pink areas do have some fragmentation around them. But what if we go down even further? What if we go ahead and turn on performance? the changes and now we're above 60 fps at 50 percent render resolution so this is close to 720p um, dlss quality is around 66 percent uh, balance is 59 percent to 56 percent and performance is usually 50 percent it depends on the games what about ultra performance can we get 80 fps how does the game look? 
Well, you'll definitely notice distant objects being a lot blurrier. I think the LSS4 does a decent job at upscaling it, but at this low resolution, you really do start to notice. Although our base frame rate has gone up. Now, this is kind of a best case scenario, and if you try this in the beginning of the game, or if you look at different benchmarks from the beginning of the game, you'll notice that um, the frame rate is much lower, even on ultra performance, it's hard to hit 60 FPS in the beginning of the game. And with my 4070 Ti, I had to run it at DLSS performance or lower, and uh, frame generation 2x to get around 100 to 110 or sometimes even 80 fps uh, with frame jet so that was quite latency heavy i upgraded to a 5080 because i wanted more vram for games like doom eternal and also indiana jones and uh, some vr titles if you remember indiana jones had path tracing and also they had a really big issue with te texture pool size and texture pool caches. Um, what about doing DLSS quality mode? Just to check the performance one more time, it's around 50 FPS. So I would suggest playing this game at the LSS balanced and then if you have the ability to use frame gen you probably will enjoy the game a lot more although the controls will feel much more floaty than before um, you could choose to use multi frame gen remember there is latency attached to that and I personally do use it myself even though I'm not the biggest fan of it I just feel like for a game like Doom, The Dark Ages, it's borderline essential to use it, unless you want to look at a 33% resolution scale image. Anyway guys, I hope you found this video informative, I hope it helped you understand how the path tracing affects the game, and uh, whether or not you find it worth it is completely up to you. I personally believe this game could have been far better optimized and I do think Nvidia incentivized, this is pure speculation, I obviously don't know any of this, but judging by the deals Nvidia made to have uh, Doom be released uh, with all of these ray tracing features and being locked as a ray tracing game. Kind of incentivizes people to go ahead and buy more uh, RTX GPUs. Uh, also, they were offering the game for free with the purchase of a 5070 or 50 series graphics cards generally, which in my mind points towards some kind of deal or partnership with Nvidia and Bethesda. Uh, obviously making the game around NVIDIA GPUs. That's pure speculation and it could mean anything to be honest. Please don't attack me NVIDIA. Um, what else? What else? What else? I hope you guys found this video informative. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't agree with me or you think that I'm blowing this way out of proportion, leave a dislike. If you want to see more, subscribe to my channel and I'll be releasing more videos. And if you like to share your opinions, whether or not you like to play with path tracing enabled or disabled, what kind of rig you're running on, let me know down in the comments below. I hope you found this video entertaining. And I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful day ahead of you. Dark Ruler, aka Blackheart909, signing off. I'm actually gonna go ahead and enable path tracing for the rest of this video. 
I'm actually gonna go ahead and enable frame gen, excuse me.